welcome to the Monday Night Reset. This is 30 minutes of restorative yoga, 15 minutes taken uh, either sitting or standing. These can be adapted for wherever you're at in your day. If you're still at your work desk, if you're just in the middle of a stream break, if you wanna get back to gaming after this, or if you've got just 15 minutes to take some time for yourself today, this is your time. Uh, this will be uploaded to our YouTube after this stream as well, or, sorry, <laughs> this, uh, you'll be able to find this as a highlight on Twitch after the stream. Otherwise, uh, this will be uploaded to YouTube on Friday. Um, we're going to try to bookend the weeks so that we have a practice to begin and end the week with if that's where you're at in your practice schedule. Otherwise, I'm so glad you're here. This is your space for your time to take time for yourself today. So for 15 minutes, we're going to do some general stretch, warm up kind of things, and then we'll get into today's all about the hamstrings, giving us some extra love through the hips, down all the way to our toes. So we will get started today, either standing or sitting. You can take an easy seat on the ground, you can stay in your chair, or I invite you to stand with me, bringing our toes together and our heels slightly apart. Shrug the shoulders down. Just getting a little bit of mobility. Woken up through the shoulders. Give them a good wiggle. Maybe a few rotations. And then inhale the hands upward, stretching the fingers as far as you can. Tadasana Mountain Pose. Shrug your shoulders down your back, knitting your rib cage together, drawing the thighs together. And just breathe here for a few moments. In today's practice, we'll be engaging in Ujjayi breath, inhaling through the nose, and exhaling through the nose. Inhale. and exhale. Inhale the arms down to heart center, clasping your hands, touching every fingertip to each other, pressing at the palm, and squeezing the body in towards the midline, the median of the body. The center line that divides us to left right symmetry. As we focus in towards the center, we breathe in through the nose and up through the nose. Inhaling the arms up to Tadasana, spreading the fingers wide. Exhale. Inhale, give yourself a little bit of a back bend, drawing the arms into cactus. Leaning forward and upward with the chest opening it, dropping the head slightly backward. You can stay here as long as comfortable. Inhale to Tadasana. And exhale back into that slight back bend, just opening up the chest. Inhale to Tadasana. And exhale to that little back bend. Inhale, keep your hands exactly where they are, your arms in 90 degree angle. On your next inhale, draw a twist to the left, bringing your shoulders to face the left side of your mat or your room, keeping your hips square to the front. Make sure you have as much of a bend in your knees as you need, especially if you have your eyes closed. 
Inhale, restore neutrality to your spine, twisting back towards the front. Exhale. Inhale, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Exhale, back bend. Lift those cactus arms just slightly. Inhale, restore neutrality in your spine, keeping your arms exactly where they are. And on your next inhale, twist to the right, slowly and gently, keeping your hips facing towards your screen. Inhale, restoring neutrality and coming back up to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, come all the way to the ground, forward fold. If you are in your chair, collapse forward as far as you can, bringing your hands either straight out in front of you or resting them gently on either sides of your legs. For those of us standing, here we're going to come down to our knees, folding our feet back into Virasana, sitting comfortably on our heels. If this is uncomfortable for any reason, feel free to take an easy seat as well. Go into a camel ride, drawing our fingertips up just past our knees, rounding our shoulders forward, dropping our head down, Drawing the navel in towards the spine. On each inhale, pull slightly tighter with your hands, your arms. And on each exhale, round into the pose even further. If you'd like to deepen this pose at all, come up slightly on your, uh, sorry, engage your legs slightly, raising off of your heels, pulling with your fingertips, making sure that you aren't coming all the way forward. Your head should be slight, or at least in line with your wrists. Inhale, drop back down onto your ankles slowly, rolling the shoulders back and coming to a neutral seat. From here, if you are not seated, walk yourself out to a tabletop. For those seated, I'll provide modifications. <clears throat> We're gonna do some wrist stretches. Give some love to our carpals and metacarpals. For those standing, or excuse me, for those sitting, we'll be using the floor on the ground, but for you, for each side, each wrist that we're articulating, you're just going to create a slight wall or walk up to a wall. Give just slight pressure back, never pulling, just providing a flat surface to go against. For those in tabletop, reverse your right hand so that your fingers are pointing backward. For those sitting, keep that right hand reversed. Utilize your hand as a wall. We're just going to give it some slight pressure. Moving forward and back ever so slightly, gently warming up the wrists. You can go ahead and reverse your hands, left fingers facing backward, right fingers facing forward, or supporting those fingers in a slight stretch. 
those on the ground again, we're moving forward and back just slightly, bringing our shoulders ahead of and then behind our wrists. Flip both of your hand, your fingers to face forward. If you'd like to get more stretch out of your wrists, you can also reverse your hands. I recommend doing one hand at a time <clears throat> so that you avoid wrist injury. Otherwise, take some time here to shrug out your shoulders. Take whatever movement is comfortable in the body. Maybe throw in some cat cow if you feel any extra stiffness from our slight back bends earlier. Extra wrist stretches, whatever you need in your body in this time. When you're ready, we'll be moving into downward facing dog. For those of us who just joined us for the stretching break, thank you so much. I appreciate you taking this time for yourself, taking this time to spend with us here. If you feel like continuing, I urge you to. If you feel like continuing but don't have the ground space for this, I do have um, some sequences coming that are all chair yoga and certified, and I can also do one-on-one -on -one yoga with you. If that is something that you are into. For continuing our class today, however, We'll be hinging at the waist, coming into downward dog. Inhale. And exhale. Especially in this first hamstring stretch today, take some time and pedal out your ankles not caring about what your back looks like, <laughs> how flat you are, the upside down V that you are creating. Take this time just to pedal out your hamstrings. Get them used to the feeling, being used. <laughs> when you're ready, restore stillness into your downward dog, pressing through the ankles, back through the shoulders, making sure that you don't have any jaw stiffness. <clears throat> Excuse me. Inhale, shift your weight forward, coming into high plank. Spread your feet about hip width distance apart. Inhale, shifting the weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Slowly lower yourself less than halfway to the ground. Inhale, coming into upward down, flipping our feet. And exhaling back into downward dog. If the chaturanga push up is too much for you today, then feel free to remain in high plank through the chaturanga push-up, joining us in upward or downward facing dog whenever you're ready. Inhale, shifting the gaze forward. Exhale, lowering the knees to the ground, coming back into child's pose, reaching the hands forward, gripping the earth with our fingertips. We breathe, inhale, hold, exhale. Again, inhale, hold, and exhale. Inhale, shifting the gaze forward. Exhale, coming up into high plank. Chaturanga, inhale, shifting forward. Exhale, lowering less than halfway to the ground. 
Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Again, as with all, or as with our first downward dog in this series, if you have any remaining hamstring tightness or if it feels good, take the time in these downward dogs to pedal out the hamstrings. Taking as deep of a bend in the knees as you need today. Pressing through each fingertip into the ground supporting the whole architecture of your posture. Inhale, shift the gaze forward. Exhale, fold at the knees, bringing them to the ground, hinging back into extended child's pose. Inhale, reach further on the ground. Exhale, Lowering your chest further to the ground if possible. Inhale. Hold. And exhale. Once again, inhale. Hold. And exhale. <clears throat> Inhale and shifting the gaze forward. Exhaling, coming up just into tabletop this time. How are your shoulders feeling? Downward dog is great for stretching out the hamstrings. However, we put a lot of pressure on our shoulders. We're gonna go <clears throat> into just some shoulder circles here. So inhale, bringing the shoulders forward. Exhale, bringing them back, just like those wrist stretches. If you'd like to feel more out of these stretches, you can bring your knees a little bit wider and touch your toes together. Inhale, we'll go forward and exhale back. Inhale forward and exhale back. Inhale, rotating around to the left. And exhaling, coming down to the right. Clockwise. Taking one inhale and one exhale for each circle, or each half of the circle. Reverse that motion making sure that we're gripping the ground. If you feel any tightness in your wrists from this exercise, grip the ground further. If you feel pinching, please back off of your wrists and give them some time. Reverse that circle one more time. Again. And then we'll bring the knees out to the width of our mat, folding back into wide extended child's pose, bringing the chest as close to the ground as possible, stretching out with both hands.
is in the right or in the left knee. We inhale and exhale. One more breath here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale your foot back into high plank. This will be our last chaturanga of the sequence. Inhaling, shifting forward. Exhaling, lowering less than halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Hinging at the waist. Exhaling into downward facing dog. We've spent a lot of time today in downward dog in preparatory postures for downward dog. And while this is great for our hamstrings, our shoulders feel the brunt of these stretches. Inhale, bending the knees to the ground. Come back into Varasana, hero's pose. Sitting your butt gently down onto your ankles, your heels. If you feel any discomfort in your ankles, either widen your feet in the back or come to an easy seat, cross-legged. Here, rest your hands comfortably on your palms, engaging your shoulders back, knitting the rib cage together, shifting our hips to be in line with the spine. Take this time here just to breathe. to feel all of the support that your shoulders have put in. To feel in your hips where your hamstrings were pulling. Drop your hips to one side or the other facing your feet towards the bottom of your mat. Bend your knees and slowly, very gently roll down onto your back, vertebra by vertebra. If you haven't met her yet, this is my Greyhound Willow and all she knows is downward facing dog. <laughs> Here on our backs, bring the feet together, dropping the knees out wide to fish pose. This posture is my favorite for spending Shavasana, so if you'd like to stay here, you're more than welcome. Of course, this is your practice. If you would like to take one more posture before Shavasana, if your hips are feeling tight, I'd recommend this. Bring both knees to the chest, maybe give them a little hug, and then bring your feet flat towards the sky, dropping them out to the side, dropping your knees out to the side, and grabbing the bottoms of Happy baby. If you'd like to rock back and forth, I'll pull one leg and then the other. Experiment with different motions here and how they make your hips feel. Here, while you are in a virtual practice, you have the liberty of no social pressure. 
I, however, am on camera, so I can't do anything too crazy. <laughs> Pull your feet towards your chest just slightly, and dropping your feet either out long or back into fish pose. If you let it long, take one last long body stretch. Before resting your arms comfortably at your side, letting your legs fall to either side. Batting your eyes closed if you're comfortable. Here, start to let go of your breath. Losing control. Letting yourself fall into the darkness that's behind your eyelids. Letting go. It's so hard. So if you feel like intrusive thoughts or anxieties or muscle aches or whatever the distraction may be are taking hold of you more easily than you think they might not you always have the option of coming back to that giant breath it's refocus Continue taking up space. And losing your mind to the gentle flow of your subconscious thought. Again, if you find yourself too distracted, you can always use your breath as a guiding. Friends, this is your time to take up space, to just exist in this moment. However, if you are ready to be guided out of practice, slowly start to wiggle just one thing. Feel how many muscles in your hand are affected just by that one move. The tingling in your palm. The sensation in your forearm. Add more fingers. Maybe roll out your wrists. Draw motion gently back into the body. Draw your knees gently in towards your chest. And then fall to your favorite side. 
using your bicep as a forearm if you'd like. Let's take a fetal position. With your eyes closed, if you can, guide yourself up to an easy seated position using the edges of your mat as a guide. Resting the hands gently in the lap, palms facing upward, and gently on your knees. Take two deep breaths here, inhaling through the nose. Open up, exhale. Inhaling through the nose. Open up, exhale. Inhaling the hands, heart center. Palms resting gently against each other. Fingertips meet it. A palm floating just above the heart. This is your time to set an intention for the rest of your week have something specific, like a meeting on Thursday that you really want to ace, or if you'd just like to be cool, cool, calm, and collected in the face of adversity, or even just if you'd like to remember to breathe when things start feeling hard. We inhale to charge that intention and exhale it out into the world. Once more, inhale, open up, exhale. We guide our hands up to third eye center resting gently between our brow. The student, the teacher, and the light in me is honored to know and share this practice with the teacher, the student, and the light in me. We bow to seal our practice. Blink your eyes up. Thank you guys so much for coming to the Monday Night Reset. For those still in Shavasana, this is your time to take up space. Enjoy the music. Enjoy the darkness behind your eyelids. I've been Ethan Klee, 200 hour registered yoga teacher, Yoga Alliance. If you'd like to see more of my yoga, you can find it on our YouTube channel, on our Twitch highlights, or catch our Monday night restorative yoga stream every Monday at 6 p.m. Central here on twitch.tv slash flipside yoga. Again, thank you so much for taking time to spend with me and taking that time for yourself. Remember this week, when faced with adversity, that sometimes just that deep breath can remind you about what it is you're working for. Whether that means it actually calms you down or not, you've taken the step that'll only build to a habit. Again, thank you guys so much. I will see you all next week.
Thank you again for coming.